In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw a cute fluffy bee in Procreate step by step. You can follow along this class even if you have no drawing experience, as it is meant for beginners to Procreate and digital art generally. You can download the brushes and color palette you will use via the Gumroad link in the description below this video. Before we begin drawing, I'd been using a 4th generation iPad Pro for more than 3 years that I got it right before I started this YouTube channel. I fell in love with it at first sight and have been using it every day, including these tutorial videos. It still works great, but lately its screen brightness started changing constantly, even though I turned off the auto brightness. It happens when your iPad gets hot and it is an iPad's way to prevent itself from heating further. When drawing, it is completely fine, but when recording these videos, screen getting dark every other minute causes a bad viewing experience for you. So I went ahead and got an iPad for the first time in years. This is a brand new 6th generation 12.9 inch iPad Pro with Apple's new powerful M2 chip inside it and I'll be using this bad boy from now on. I love that it has 512GB space, it works very smooth and gives me even more layers to work on on Procreate. Now that the unboxing is finished, let's start drawing. I've gone ahead and created a vertical canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. To draw this cute fluffy bee character, you won't need any fur brushes. I will show you an alternative way to create fur texture in Procreate, which is really cool and easy. I already used this technique in my early tutorials, but this time we will do it in a more advanced way. All we need is a color palette and these three brushes from the bundle. There is a modified noise brush from Procreate, then another brush from the free space set and one of the brushes that will be used for the background is from my latest set of realistic brushes. The full set with realistic textures is available on my Patreon along with tens of other premium quality products. Patreon is a subscription-based platform where I share more detailed and advanced video tutorials in many different styles, so if you are willing to learn more pro tips for Procreate, you can check it out on the link under this video. Now if you have everything downloaded and installed to your Procreate, let's proceed with the drawing. Before drawing the character, let's go ahead and change the background color into a dark one. So we just need to tap here on the background color and then select color number one. It'll get dark. Now we can add some light. We already have this layer. So let's just pick color 13, go to airbrushing section from Procreate and pick soft brush. I'll set the size to 23% and start drawing here in the center of the canvas. Then switch to color 14 and put it here on top. Try to blend these two colors together to create a gradient. And to blend them even better, we can apply Gaussian Blur. Just slide to the right. at around 37%. Then we need to create one more layer above this one and start drawing the bee. I'd like to start with the head and as the base color for it, let's pick color 17. Then go to the tutorial brush set that is called Cute Bee and pick this noise brush. It has increased grain. With the size set to 45%, let's try to draw sort of an oval. Somewhere here. We can make it even bigger. Like this. Make a few more strokes. But try to keep it textured on the edges. Now let's click on the adjustments and select perspective blur. Make sure it isn't positional and slide all the way to the right, to 100%. Now we can start dragging this point and place it in the center of the shape, like this. In the end we will get this fluffy ball. Now let's go back to adjustments and select liquify tool, so we can adjust the shape even more. I will set it to push mode there is no distortion or momentum and pressure is set to maximum. Let me adjust the size a little bit to around 42%. 
I will stretch it up a little bit. And we can also try to make it a little bit chubby. Just push it to the sides at the bottom. Like this. Making the size a little bit smaller. To adjust it even more. In the end we will get this. Now to add some sharpness to it, let's apply sharpen tool. It is also here in adjustments. We also need to slide all the way to the right and set sharpen to 100%. Now let's duplicate this layer, clip it and set it to overlay. In the end we will get this, just a fluffy ball for now. We can add some shading later. Let's just merge these two layers for now and create another layer below for the body. Here we can use color number 2 and the same noise brush. Let's draw another oval this way Let me make it a little bit bigger like this Then go back to adjustments and select perspective blur again Also set it to 100% Let's now also move it and make sure the spikes go down with a small angle, like this. Let's also use liquify here to adjust the shape. I think we can make the head a little bit smaller. Also move it, then go back to this layer and sharpen it at 100%. Now we can add the stripes. For that I will create a layer above this one, then clip it and set it to add mode. Now let's select color number 3. Here we can make the size a little bit smaller, like 36%. Or maybe even smaller, according to the size of the body. And draw these two lines. Make them parallel to the head. I'll add another one at the bottom. Like this. We also need to go back to adjustments and apply perspective blur. Then also adjust the angle by moving the speaker. So the spikes go in the same direction. Now we can duplicate this layer. It will be clipped right away. And then I will set it to overlay to get a very nice orange color. Looks very fluffy. And I think we can now shade the body. For that I will add one more layer and clip it as well. Let's set the layers more to multiply. If you like you can adjust the stripes even more by scaling with transformation or using liquify. Now let's grab color number 2 and also soft brush from airbrushing. I lower the size to 13% and apply it on the right side like this. Also go a little down. We can make it even darker, paint a bigger part, almost half of it and make it rather dark. So this part will be in shadow. Then we can add one more layer above 
add a clipping mask and set it to overlay for the highlights. Here I'd like to use color number 4 together with soft brush. Just lower the size again and start painting on the left. Highlight it just a little bit and try to apply low pressure on the pencil to make it gradual. We can put it slightly on the right side as well to add some volume to it and to add more reflected light according to the background we can add one more layer. Let's not forget to clip it to keep the color inside and set it to color dodge. Since we have this purplish background we can use this violet color number 5. It paints slightly on the right. Also go a little down. This way. Maybe a little bit more. We can also use a razor. Just set it to soft brush as well. And make a few adjustments. I will add the shadow from the head by removing the color. And now I think it is fine. Once we finish the body, we can start working on the head. Let me just select all the layers for the body and I will group them instead of merging the layers just to keep the process. We have the head here, so we can now create a layer above to draw the eyes and the mouth before we shade it. This way we will know where to place the shadows and highlights. As the base color for the eyes, I'd like to use color number 9, which is very dark. We are in the airbrushing section, so we can pick medium hard airbrush. Set the size to around 32% and first draw a circle. I pick this brush to keep the edges slightly soft. We can make it even bigger, so it'll look cute. Let me just scale it a little bit and put it on the side like this. Now let's duplicate this layer and drag it to the opposite side. Keep it symmetrical according to the center. Now we can merge these two layers and create another one above. Now let's clip this one. And select color number 10. Go back to the cute B brush set and pick this glitter brush. It's from the space set. Let's make the size bigger, like 8%, and start making strokes inside. And the lower half of the eye. Let's do it on this one. I will start lowering the size and making more strokes until we get this glow. Now let's grab a razor. Set it to soft brush and lower the size to 4%. So we can now erase it like this on the sides 
and then at the bottom. Let's also do it on this one. Also merge these two layers. And then create one more layer. Pick color number 4. I'll go back to airbrushing and switch to medium hard airbrush. That is already selected here. We just need to make the size smaller and add the slight reflections inside the eyes. Let's do it gradually. It makes sort of a circle. With the texture going to the sides. Let's also do it on this one. I'm not copying it, so the eyes will look slightly different. Just draw a novel and then also stretch it a little bit to the side, moving up and down. We can also select Smudge tool, set it to Soft Brush, set the opacity to 85% and adjust the size. It is set to 2% at my end, so we can smudge the edges a little bit. Let's also do it on this one. And then to add some glow, we can use Bloom from Adjustments. Let's start sliding to the right side. To set the amount to around 37%, but you need to set it according to your result. We can also play around with the settings, change burn a little bit, also the size, and now I think it looks fine. I will deselect it and then lower the opacity a little bit. To blend it with the base color. It can be set to around 75% or so. Now let's also merge these layers and start adjusting the shapes of the eyes. First I will go to transformation and rotate it a little bit to follow the angle of the head. Now let's go to Adjustments again and select Liquify. It is still in Push. I'll just lower the size and start pushing it up a little, like this, on both eyes. Then make the size smaller and stretch the corners. So you can actually create any shape for the eyes. Make sure you like it. We can even make this corner a little bit sharper by pushing it more. Let's also do it on this one. I will stretch it like this. Maybe push it a little bit to the side like this, so it looks organic. If you are afraid to damage one of the eyes, before applying Liquify, just go to Selection and outline the eye that you want to adjust. This way you won't need to worry about the second eye. Now I like the shape. We can just move it a little bit more. And again, if you'd like to move only one eye, you will need to select it first. Ok, I think now the eyes are ready. We can draw a cute tiny mouth. For that I will create another layer, can be located here. 
and then we can select color 12. From the ink inset, let's pick dry ink. Then set the size to 8% and draw a cute arc on the same level as the eyes. This way it will look even more cute. Let me adjust it. We can also use liquify here, just with a smaller size. And drag it like this. Now we can also move it a little to keep the symmetry. I think I will make it slightly smaller. So it looks super cute. Like this. Now we only need to shade the head. For that let's go to the layer with the head and create another one above it. Then we need to clip it. So all the colors will stay inside. Let's also set this layers mode to multiply. Go to the color palette and pick color number 7. I'd like to add more fur texture. So we need to select this noise brush again. Set the size to around 35% and start drawing from this side. Moving a little down on the cheek. Then to the right side. We can even make strokes this way. And go a little upper on the right side. Now it looks like it has a beard, but we can change it easily. Let's just go to adjustments and select perspective blur. First I will slide to the right side as we did before. Set it to 100% and now we can move it to match it with this point in the middle. So the spikes will go in the same direction. Like this. Now we can also use liquify to adjust it if needed. It is still in push mode. Let me just make the size slightly bigger. And push it a little. Let's now try to duplicate this layer with the base color. Go to this one and lower the opacity a little at around 60%. Let's now check this out. Maybe we can go back to this layer that is in multiply mode and adjust the opacity. I think around 72% will work in this case. Now after the shadow, we can also add the highlight. For that we will need to create a new layer, clip it, and this time set it to screen. Where is it? Alright, it's here. Now let's grab color 6. Continue using noise brush, but maybe with a bigger size, so we can cover a bigger area at once. Let's start putting the color here on the left side. 
we assume the light is coming this way. So the left side will be more highlighted. Let's put it a little bit in the middle. So it will be also highlighted. Just a little bit. I'm not pressing too much on the pencil. Alright. Now after we did that, let's apply perspective blur. At 100% as always. Then also match it with the center. Just like this. Also we can do the following. Go to this layer. Then add another one. And set it to subtract. So we need to slide all the way down here. It's here. And now if we use this light color number 4, we will actually get it dark. And this time I will also switch to soft brush from airbrushing. Adjusting the size to around 14%. And we can darken the lower side like this. Also make a stroke on top of the head. We can darken the right side a bit more, like this. And then adjust the opacity of this layer again. I will increase it a little. And we will get this. It already got some volume. All we need to do is add the slight reflection on the side. Same as we did with the body. So we need to create a layer here. Then clip it again. And set this one to color dodge. Then selecting next color, that is number 5. Continue using soft brush. And make a subtle stroke on the side. Just a tiny bit. It may go slightly down. This way. Maybe a bit more. Like this. Now we can add some shadows around the eyes. I will create a new layer for it. We actually don't have to clip this one. It will stay inside anyway. Let's do this first. I will start with the highlights. So we can set this layer to screen mode. And pick this light yellow shade. It is number 6. Let's try to use noise brush, but with a small size. At around 10% or so. Since the light is coming from top, it will be highlighted at the bottom. So I will start making strokes this way. Going slightly upper. Also in these corners. Let's do it on this one. Go a little up again. Right in the corner. And if it got too bright, you can just go ahead and lower the opacity of this layer. Let me keep it for now. Then I will create one more under it. And set it to multiply, so we can add the shadows. This time I'd like to use color number 11. We can make the size slightly bigger. And start drawing on top of the eyes. We can press a bit more here. Also on this one. And 
and here we can apply perspective blur to make them fluffy. Let me actually go to selection first, set it to freehand and outline only one of the eyes. We need to tap here to close the selection. And now if we apply perspective blur, it will be applied only to this part. So I will slide to the right side. Maybe not so much. And then adjust the location. So it follows the required angle. Like this. Now we can remove the selection and repeat the same step with the second eye. So let me also outline it first. Then go to adjustments, pick perspective blur and start sliding to the right as well. Let's change the angle of the spikes. I think this way. And then deselect once it is ready. Let's now go to the layer that is in screen mode. So we can add a highlight for the mouth as well. We need to select this color number 6. We have noise brush here. Just need to make the size even smaller. I'll set it to 4% or maybe 3, depending on the size of the mouth. And I will just make a stroke under it, so it will look like it is a little bit inside. Due to this highlight. Alright, now the face is ready. Let's add these cute horns. For that we need to create a new layer. We can put it right here, doesn't really matter. And then I will pick color number 8. Let's now go to inking and select technical pen brush. Let's adjust the thickness. It can be around 40%. I will draw the first arc on this side. And then another one. It can go just as a line, so they don't look identical, but they need to be the same height. We can add these ovals on top. And before we start adding the highlights, let's go and add a layer mask on this layer. So we can make it drown in the fur. Now we just need to select black color from the disk. I'm double tapping here. We also need to switch to noise brush. Make the size a little bit bigger and start erasing it at the end, just like this. Let's do the same on this one. And now after we did that, we can create a layer above, clip it. Open the color palette and pick color number 6. From the airbrushing section, we can try to use soft brush, but with a small size. So let me lower it. I think it around 2%. Let's make a stroke on the left side of the oval. And also go a little bit to the right. Then I will lower it again. And highlight it on the side. On this line. Let's do the same on this one. So I'm drawing on the side of the oval. 
go in a little to the right as well. And making the stroke down. Like this. Now we can add one more layer. Clip it again. To add some glow to it. Let's keep the same color. But go to luminance. And select light pen. We can set the size to around 12%. And try to make a stroke on this side, then also on this one, very close to the edge. And then we can continue this line. Also go slightly down. In the end we will get this. What we can do is go to the layer with the base color. Maybe make it a little bit lighter. I will just increase brightness to 55%. And when the horns are ready, we can add legs and then draw the wings too. Let's merge all the lace for the horns. We can definitely do it and then create one more layer. Select color number 9. Let me go to inking, and here I'd like to use dry ink. As you know, bees have six legs, three pairs. So let me start from here, with the size set to around 8%. I will start with low pressure, and then increase it in the end. Make sort of a hand. Actually, when drawing a character, you can humanize it. For example, just make two arms and two legs. But here I will draw six. Another one will start from this dark part. And go down. I will also increase pressure in the end. Now let me draw a couple of legs going down. From the bottom of the body. This one can be a little bit longer, I think. Let me draw another arm. But this time it'll go down. To make it look more interesting. And one more here. Also going down. Let's also add a layer mask to this layer. Black is already selected, so if we now select Noise Brush, and make a few strokes like this, we will make a transition from the fur. We got this cute character. That looks like a potato bee with legs, but I think it is funny and cute. What is missing here is the wings. And to draw them, we need to create a layer under the bee. I'm going to layer number one, and then creating another one above it. Now we need to select color number 15. And from luminance, pick light pen. Let's set the size to around 16% and draw one of the wings. It'll have two parts. And I will start with the smallest one. It'll go approximately from here as a small oval. And then we can draw the big part. It'll start from the neck. And go to the side. Approximately like this. Let me go to the layer with the legs. I will outline this one. 
and maybe make it just a little bit bigger. So it goes a little outside the wing. That's what I want to achieve. Now I will also make the wing a little bit smaller. And drag it down like this. Now I like the shape. We just need to make the size a little bit smaller, like 9%, and draw a pattern inside the wings. Apply low pressure. It can go this way. Various lines inside. Let me add a few in the small part. They can go in different directions. And if you don't want to draw the second wing, just go ahead and duplicate this one. Then flip it horizontal and drag it to the left. We need to rotate it to follow the angle of the bee. And to make it look a little bit different, I will use Liquify to fix it. I want to make this one a little bit more rounded. Like this. But of course it would be better if we draw it from scratch. I just want to save some time. Ok, now we have both. Let's just merge these two layers and set it to overlay. It will blend with the background for now. And to add more color to the wings, let's create a layer below. Then select color 16 together with a soft brush. The size can be set around 6%. And if we start to draw inside the wings, maybe with a smaller size, we will get this glow again. So let me do the same on the second wing, on the small part. And now after we did that, we can add the shadow on the wings. For that we can select a razor, it is already set to soft brush, and all we need to do is just erase this part, close to the body. It will create the illusion of the shadow. Let's do the same on this one. Then go to the layer that is in overlay mode and erase the lines here as well. In the end I will go to this layer with the color and adjust the opacity. At my end it will be set to 64%. But of course you can do it according to your taste. Let me make it a little bit smaller. I just saw the right wing. Alright, now that's much better. The wings are ready too. Before we finish the background, I think we can add a couple of more highlights on the head. We have a few layers here. So let me go to this one that is on screen. And then I will create another one above it. And it will be clipped right away. Then I will set it to overlay mode. And pick this light blue color. Soft brush is already here. 
I just want to highlight this part a little bit more because it is exposed to the light that we assumed is coming from here. Then I will also draw around the head in this way. And go slightly down on the edge. Ok, now I think it looks even better. Now the bee is totally ready. I just want to resize it, so we have more space for the background behind. And instead of merging all the layers, let's do this. We can remove the background and also this layer. Now I will go to the top layer, then to Actions, Add, Copy Canvas and paste it. Actually, it looks really nice when it is doubled. So we can try to duplicate this. Tap and hold here. And then on this one. After that, these two layers can be merged. Let me tap and hold here again. So we have only one layer with the B. And after that, we can bring back the background. And also this layer with a gradient. Now using transformation, I will scale it uniformly. Just make it smaller. We can drag it a bit down, this way. Alright. Then go to the layer with the gradient and create another one above it, so we can add a few leaves around. Let's go to change the color into number 5. And then from the tutorial brush set, we need to select this foliage brush. Let's first set the size to around 30%. And make a few strokes on top and at the bottom of the canvas. You can try to do it in different ways. Also change the brush size if you like. I will make it a bit smaller. Also tap here on top, maybe a bit more. Alright, now to add depth to the illustration, let's do this. First go to Hue Saturation Brightness from Adjustments and make this layer a little bit darker. So I will lower the brightness together with saturation. And we can also try to change the hue a little bit, to make it more violet. So I've set hue to 51%, saturation to 41% and brightness is at 41%. Now let's add one more layer above this one. Keep using the same color and just tap a few more times. with different size. Let's go back to the previous layer and try to lower its opacity a little to make it a bit transparent. Alright, I've set it to 86%. Now we can merge these two layers then tap and hold here. Also bring back the gradient and the B. Make sure that you are staying on the layer with the leaves. So now we can go to adjustments again and apply Gaussian Blur. 
to make the bee pop up from the canvas. I'll start sliding to the right. And I think around 70% will work great. This is what we will get. We can also try to adjust the gradient. Just go to this layer. Maybe try to duplicate it. And adjust the opacity of one of the layers. I will lower it to 87%. And now after this final step, our cute B character illustration is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!